It's Friday, May 15th. It's time for some more Cup Zero Hour. Let's get that milk. Okay, y'all, it's Friday, and on Fridays, you know we have to do a Work Up Zero Hour interview. Today, we got the one, the only, the beloved, Mr. Rashad Thomas. What's going on today, yes. Mr. Thomas? Going great, man. I'm definitely excited to be up in the building. I'm in the media center, hanging out, you know, doing some things here, but definitely glad to be a part of this interview today, and good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, too, man. Thanks for being a part. Uh, so... Work up zero hour. We kind of just we do a couple things. We're gonna ask you to talk to us, tell you a little bit about yourself, maybe stuff the students don't know, uh, things you like, things like that. And then I'm gonna mm-hmm. do the gauntlet, which is anywhere from you know ten to thirteen questions of just you got to answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. The phone's ringing. Oh, you good? <laughs> you good, man? <laughs> That's what happens when you work. Sorry about that. No, you know. You're Sorry talking. about that. All right. So let's just start off. Uh, obviously, I introduced you, but just tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe some stuff that, you know, the kids don't know. Okay. Um, well, as you guys know, Mr. Thomas, uh, originally from New Bern, uh, went to New Bern High School, graduated in 2005, uh, went off to Durham, where I got my bachelor's in history education. Uh, came back in 2015 where I started uh, teaching a uh, media assistant at Pamlico High School and eventually became a 10th grade honor social studies teacher. And then I came here. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I love to read, obviously. I uh, love to play video games. I prefer Xbox over PlayStation, just in case you kids are wondering. And I do not play Fortnite. So don't ask me that next year of any Fortnite things. I can't build. So that's why I don't like Fortnite. Um, what else? I'm a huge seafood fan. Um, I love music. I love hanging out um, and just being me. You know, I'm a, I'm a spirited person. Uh, I love to have fun. I love to talk. And uh, yeah. Hey, man. Definitely, definitely a spirited person. I mean, you're one of those people that just walks in the room and it's just it's a whole different atmosphere. You're fun. You're you know, kids love you, man. Right. Work Absolutely, cubs, man. You know? I love them, too. <clears throat> it's awesome. So. Without any further ado, it's time to run you through the gauntlet. Oh, God. And and I'm <laughs> you actually answered one of the questions. And and, Ms., and Mr. Thomas doesn't know any of these questions, by the way. Uh, <laughs> he actually already answered the very first one, but we're going to run you through it anyway. Are, are you ready? Let's go, man. Let's okay. go. Here we go. Xbox or PlayStation? <laughs> Xbox, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> if the world as we know it, uh, would be conquered. Would you rather it be conquered by aliens or robots? Aliens, man. Okay. Would you <laughs> Would you rather always be 10 minutes late for everything or 20 minutes early for everything? Everybody knows that I'm an early person. 20 minutes early all day. Okay. If we lived in a fantasy world setting like Lord of the Rings or Skyrim, what would your job be? Curator. You're ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Oh, man. Now, that's one. I definitely, I would have to say Ghana. Really? Okay. Ghana. Awesome. Sweet. Um, what's your favorite type of pet? Uh, favorite type of pet is dog. Okay. Dog. In that near distant future where the world is conquered by aliens, who would you put your faith in to save the world? Would it be Kanye West and Kim Kardashian or Jay-Z and Beyonce? Oh, man. In this particular situation, I would have to go wild with it and say Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Ooh. Only because we were dealing with aliens. <laughs> Only because we're dealing with aliens. If it would have been a different, a whole completely different scenario, I would have went with J and B all day long. <laughs> okay, but, Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Kim. Favorite game of all time? Favorite game of all time? Oh, man. Favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, ooh, that remake, though? That remake? I haven't played the remake yet. What? I'm waiting for it to come out on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> A little birdie told me to come out on Xbox. So, and, and, and the last question is actually going to be uh, a little bit more serious one. Uh, since we're not, okay. since the kids aren't coming back this year, 
what do you want to say to the kids? Oh, man. Um, as you know, uh, I'm not trying to be on a big soapbox, but as you guys know, I've been out since February the 5th. So uh, going into that last week um, where I came out, if I would have known that I wouldn't see some of you guys again, I would have been hugging all day long, every day. Man, I'm here right now when I don't have to be, and it's because I need to be in the building because I've been away for so long. The only thing that's missing is you guys, man, hands down. And some of you guys I still communicate with on a daily basis, whether it's yearbook or I'm stopping by in Zoom classroom sessions. But, man, good guy, I miss you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And I honestly – hold on for just a second, man. Give me one second. Let me grab something. Man, hold on. This is my opportunity to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. All of these uh, uh, daggling uh, cards and – get well posters man hey thank you guys man I, I you guys helped me get through a really rough process over the past couple months um so to see those things man i really want to say i love you guys for my eighth graders that i won't be able to see unless we go to the high school you guys keep striving to be the best at everything that you do going forward Remember, the sky's the limit. And to the sixth grade and seventh graders who are going to be seventh and eighth graders next year, hey, we coming back with a big bang, man. We getting ready to party. And you know how we do it, one, so, one squad all day. That's right. And, you know, and that, that goes back to telling, talking to you about, you know, how all the kids love you when you come in the room. You know, the kids' faces light up. Um, and you saw that with the cards, you saw the Get Well posters. Um, and, you know, they missed you. We were missing a vital part of HJ. So I'm glad you're back, man. Absolutely, man. I'm so happy to be back, and I can't wait for the future, what we got going on here at HJ, which is something special. That's right. So we have a motto of get that milk uh, on a your <laughs> hour, um, and we always, always have the guests send the kids off. So would you like to send the kids off with the motto? Absolutely. HJ, you know how we do. One squad all day, every day. Go get that milk, baby. Get that milk. Thank y'all.